Hey everyone, how are you? Welcome to another reading. This is for the month of July for the sign of Cancer. Let's get started. This is a general focus reading and something is telling me that you are in for big transformation during July and this transformation is for a positive change but it would be huge and it would be slow and for some of you it would be stressful although it is positive but the transformation is not something that you are looking forward to so it might be little stressful but you will not regret making these changes whatever life is presenting to you right now So what we have at the bottom of the deck is the High Priestess and here we have the Empress. What I'm seeing here is that a lot of uh, Goddess energy is there in your surroundings, in your environment. Even if you don't observe it, it's there. So. It might be a good idea for you to connect with the goddess energy and connect with your inner voice because the goddess is helping you to connect with your inner voice because your inner voice knows which direction you have to move forward, where you have to make the change and how you have to make the change. And that is very important for you. Right at the center is the chariot which is telling me that definitely there is a lot of willpower to do something. You really have a desire and you want to do something if I have to say in Hindi Kuch kar guzarne ki bohat chahat hai aapko. So the same thing that I said in English it is a very appropriate term in Hindi so that's what I said for the people who are watching from India but yeah you have a desire and you want to move forward and there's a lot of willpower and there's a lot of courage and there is a lot of enthusiasm and you are trying to find that control and balance in your life. The problem is that somewhere you lack that energy to block your ego because your ego is constantly playing games with you and you somehow don't find enough energy to control yourself but then uh, praying to the goddess the goddess energy is quite dominant around you praying to the goddess will help you to calm down the ego help you to uh, get over the egoistic thoughts and move forward in life in past things were quite nice you have achieved a lot of things that you may not even recognize that those were achievement but if you see it from the lens of the universe who you were and what you have become you are an achiever but in your own eyes you might not find it as a very great thing what's going on with you guys i know that it's your birthday month <laughs> first six cards all major arcana and uh, what i'm seeing here is that towards the end of the month and maybe second half of july and towards the end of the month when the leo energy gets started in july somewhere around 22nd 23rd of july i see that a lot of relationships are getting formed uh, it can be any kind of relationship just don't take it very literally in terms of love relationships but I do see that a lot of relationships are getting formed and these relationships are quite uh, unique and quite destined in a long term perspective because of all the major arcana cards coming together and the two major arcana cards here uh, with the blessings of divine goddess I see that there are a lot of good things happening for you. You have been waiting for a very long that people in your social environment give you some kind of recognition. And uh, for some reason now, you would be even more desperate for some kind of validity and recognition from the social environment around you. But don't worry about that. It will fall in place 
over a period of time you don't have to really uh, desire a lot for it or feel desperate about it don't do that another uh, uh, major arcana card the devil anchoring the whole reading here which is telling me that somewhere there's a huge desire to achieve something with the chariot it is to move to the next level to move forward in life you had some kind of achievement but you are not satisfied with that you want to achieve something more big and the new relationships you are what you always wanted to help you to move forward but the desperation part is something that is not very uh, convincing here for me to say that you are on the right path although there's a lot of goddess energy which is guiding you so i'm not very uh, tense about your situation but then i do see that there is a certain kind of desperation the reason why you want to do something to show it to someone to uh, get recognition from someone you don't have to fall for that trap you have to do it for yourself if you don't think that it is good enough for you move on to do something that you like on a personal level because you might do to get some good recognition from someone else and then you will not enjoy it and then later you will fall for that trap and you'll continue doing the same just because you have got some recognition and you have to maintain that and it won't be an enjoyable process at all the focus should be on yourself the nine of pentacles here is saying that yes you should focus on yourself your own finances your own growth your own success in whichever way it is if you have to change the path to find that success do that if you have to go on the same path do that don't change it for anyone whatever is convenient to you from your bottom of your heart the fear is that if you do what you actually wanted to do or what you like people will not uh, give you the respect that you deserve and that is a fear not reality so be aware of that and then we have ace of swords as another guidance for you what uh, what the cards are telling me here is that you will realize something about yourself which will help you to understand what is wrong with you or what is going on or what what big transformation you are looking for and the final outcome is knight of cups which is saying that you are celebrating your emotional joy and you want to move forward now because you have got some kind of uh relationship now which anchors you which helps you but just don't get too positive about that relationship that's one small warning that i want to give you um, because it's a court card for the outcome let's see if there is another card that wants to guide us for that wow <laughs> there's something wrong with you cancers we have major arcana of the world card which is telling me that yeah something is you are uh, by the end of month everything will change for you something is getting closed and uh, and a new path is going to open and you will <laughs> see the horse in this card it looks like happy charged up moving forward and the uh, knight on the horse is also raising the cup with possibly some kind of celebration or something like that so it's a very good sign i just feel like you are bound to a big change and big uh, transformation and something just keep praying to the goddess whichever goddess you like to pray to whichever goddess connects with you keep praying to her to overcome some kind of temptation that might pull you down otherwise everything is good everything is fine hope to see you soon tata bye bye <laughs> namaste